when you are getting a question first you need to read the question you need to understand what's been asked in the question okay so the first step is writing the given values an electric toaster uses nichrome for its heating element when a negligibly small current passes through it its resistance at room temperature is found to be 75.3 room temperature is given 27.0 degrees, 27 degrees celsius so first we are writing the value the original resistance is given 75.3 ro r original it is 75.3 right and the temperature room temperature is given it is the initial case room temperature we are taking it as t1 is equal to 27 degree celsius no need to convert that into kelvin and all we can do it in degree celsius only so ro is given original resistance of the nichrome and temperature is given 27 degree celsius okay then when the toaster is connected to 230 volt supply the toaster is connected to 230 volt supply it is connecting to our home circuit uh, the temperature of the nichrome wire it will increase so the voltage is given 230 volt vt at a particular temperature the voltage is 230 volt why we are using vt here because when we are increasing the voltage the current flow will increase so there will be a change in temperature that's why we are using vt now we are discussing the second case we have increased the temperature when we are switching on there will be increase in temperature now we are going to discuss everything after increasing temperature after few seconds to to a steady value of 2.68 ampere after switching on there is a steady value of current that is 2.68 ampere so that is it equal to 2.68 ampere right what is the steady temperature of the nichrome element the temperature coefficient of resistance of nichrome averaged over the temperature range involved is 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 4 degree celsius inverse the alpha is given temperature coefficient alpha is equal to 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 4 degree celsius raised to minus 1 it is degree celsius raised to minus 1 okay now what we need to find we have one equation in the last class we have discussed one equation rt equal to ro into 1 plus delta t into alpha this is the equation which we have discussed in the last class rt is the resistance at a particular temperature ro is the original resistance delta t is the change in temperature alpha is the coefficient of resistance temperature coefficient of resistance we need to find the new temperature the temperature what we need to find here what is the steady temperature when we are applying 230 volt supply when we are applying a particular current of 2.68 ampere we need to find the new temperature initial temperature t1 is given this is the initial temperature t1 we need to find t2 so we are going to make an equation for delta t first from here we are going to make an equation for delta t going to multiply this ro into the bracket so it will be rt equal to ro plus ro delta t alpha okay i am just multiplying this ro into the bracket now i am changing this term the ro i am taking to the left side of the equal and i am taking all of the term to the left side of the equal only delta t will be remains there rt minus r0 equal to r0 delta t alpha from there we can make an equation for delta t it will be rt minus ro all divided by r0 into alpha this is the equation we know the value of ro ro is 75.3 we know the value of alpha alpha is 1.70 into 10 raised to minus 4 degree celsius inverse we know the value of we don't know the value of rt the value of rt the second temperature when we are increasing the voltage up to 230 the rt is not given instead of that they have given vt and it we to find rt they have given vt and it according to ohm's law we can find rt okay this delta t we are changing into t2 minus t1 delta t is change in temperature so equation is rt minus ro by rc ro alpha instead of rt they have given vt and it so we are applying ohm's law rt equal to vt by it 
what is the value of vt 230 what is the value of it it is 2.68 so we can write rt equal to 230 divided by 2.68 just multiply uh, just division we are just substituting we don't know the value of temperature we don't know the value of resistance at this temperature so for that they have given potential difference at that temperature and current at that tem current at that temperature vt and it we are just applying ohms law vt by it v, v by i r equal to v by i the answer is 85.82 now we got all the values now we got all the values this is our equation t2 minus t1 equal to rt minus ro all divided by ro alpha we are substituting all the values t2 minus t1 is equal to rt is 85.82 85.82 minus ro ro is what is ro 75.3 so ro is 75.3 right then what about ro the same ro is 75.3 what is the value of alpha alpha is 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 4 into 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 4 okay if you are solving this we will get t2 minus t1 equal to just subtraction and division we will get 81.8 821.8 okay you can do it later just subtract the value th this two number and divide it with 75.3 into 1.7 into 10 raised to minus 4 we will get 821.8 this is t2 minus t1 what we need to find here we need to find what is the steady temperature of the nichrome element after applying this 230 volt what is the second temperature t2 we need to find so it will be t2 equal to we are taking this minus t1 to the other side of equal 821.8 plus t1 what is the value of t1 it is 27 degrees celsius it is given here so t2 will be equal to 821.8 plus 27 is equal to t2 is equal to 848.8 degrees celsius